what's going on guys it's your boy hero and today i'm going to be doing something a little different i'm going to be doing a commentary over one of my fortnite solo wins um, it's not really a super impressive game I ended up with seven kills but i thought maybe it would be fun to do and you guys could get a little taste of my thought process while i play this game and maybe it'll help some of you guys who are struggling I was struggling a lot with this game, but I'm getting better every day, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, this is my favorite place to drop, is the factory, that's pretty much what I call it. I'm not sure, it doesn't really have a name. It's in between Dusty, Depot, and Retail Row. And uh, I love this place, I uh, know everything about it, so I always drop here. So here I try to get a few easy shots on some guys who weren't able to get a gun. And uh, I almost got this guy, but he, he made it in without me being able to kill him. Which is unfortunate because someone else is going to get that kill easily. I think they just got it right there. I'm not sure, but he's definitely dead, like 100%. Because he has, like, <laughs> no HP. So, I go down here and get the chest. I know where all the chest spawns are. I got a shield potion here. I try to check see if there's a chest here. If not, I'm just going to pop this shield. Usually, I try to get a mini shield first so I can get 100 shield. But uh, unfortunately, there was no chest there, so I can't take the chance. I uh, found a shotgun here. That's great. It's going to help me with the guys outside. I know there's more than one guy out there, so I'm just preparing myself, getting my key bonds ready. Uh, I'm going to go over here. I hear him running outside around the corner. I'm going to go over here, gather some wood, and uh, have this campfire, and I'm ready to go fight this guy now. Um, I know I thought he was going to be on the left on the house, but it looks like he ran up here. I didn't expect him to do that. So now I have to build. Um, I don't have much materials, so I'm hoping that this guy is ass and it looks like he is. So he goes to hide behind the house. I noticed someone else running behind him shortly. I saw I, I build up behind me. Always build up behind you. You never know. I noticed this guy running up behind them right there. So I'm figuring this. I'm thinking this guy is going to get involved in the fight. But he doesn't. He just walks away. So I'm like, well, shit. All right, let me reload my weapons. Get prepared because this guy's not coming out. He's clearly terrified to fight. So I, I try to build in his face, but I changed my mind. So I wanted to save that 10 materials to get on top of this roof. But he runs away, which is surprising. I headshot him right there for 92. Missed the pump shot. I shouldn't even have done that. I should have just pulled out my AR after I hit the 92 and shot him down. But uh, I thought maybe, you know, I don't know. That was a bad play either way. Even though I killed him, that guy was bad. I shouldn't have even taken any damage, but it's okay. I got some shields from him, so that's fine. I'm back up to 50 shield. Here comes this guy running out uh, without even looking at anything. He heard shots. He didn't do anything. Just got shot to spray it down. Now the guy who didn't join the fight before, I guess he didn't have a gun. He must have found some. He came back to try to join in on the fight. I hit him with a headshot. Only did 86 with the pump. Hit him with another headshot. Uh, then I just killed him. He had full shield there, so yeah, it's unfortunate for him, but it is what it is. So I pop these mini shields. I don't think anyone else is coming. If someone else is coming right now, it'd be my fault if I got shot because I didn't protect myself. I got another. I got another big shield. I'm gonna pop that too. Out in the open once again. If I got shot right now, it'd be my own fault. But I don't think anyone else is coming. What I do do though is I go inside here, uh, seal it up. And I pop a, I try to pop a fireplace. Now, I've never used the fireplace before in this situation, so I'm trying to figure out how to use it. And uh, yeah, it's not working out. In retrospect, you should use the med kit first uh, over the the uh, over the med kit uh, over the fireplace. You should use the med kit over the fireplace because med kits take up a slot and fireplaces don't. Uh, here I'm just gathering some wood. These pallets give a lot of wood. If you ever see them, they're beautiful. I don't know why people don't use them. And now I'm putting the fireplace down in here just to get that 15, uh, 16 HP back. I've survived with one HP multiple times before, literally one HP. So I know that every HP point counts. So just gonna fill that up and then I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna make sure this whole place is looted first, even though I think it is. Check for traps. You know, people like to put traps here. Everything looks looted. Just making sure that they didn't leave anything behind. Uh, people usually miss the chest inside of this truck. There's no chest in there though. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna search around and they missed this area even though there wasn't much. There's ammo, there's wood, that's nice. And now I'm gonna gather some wood. You always gotta make sure you keep your materials up in this game. Materials are so important. People forget how important they are. They're almost more important than guns in some situations. I hear a shot fired over here. 
I'm going to head over here, but I'm keeping in mind that it's out of the circle, so I can't stay out for long. Not only that, but I don't want to search forever for whoever's out here. You know, I don't want to be spending the rest of my life looking for this person as well, just because the circle. But I'm trying to get to people, you know, I want to constantly be fighting. I don't want to just be running around camping. I want to fight. And I heard a shot fired over here. So I'm trying to see if I can find a person or see any signs of people. Unfortunately, I don't think I do. Now, in these situations, usually when it's a lot of downtime, what people do is they try to just... You know, they, they start chatting their friends. They alt tab and fucking they go to their phone, go to Instagram or something. That's not what you want to do. You want to make sure you stay in the game because usually at times like this is when someone else is looking at you and they're going to shoot at you. You need to be prepared for when they shoot at you. So I always try to keep myself in the game. And what I do, what I do to keep myself in the game is I swap weapons back and forth like this. Uh, I see a lot of streamers doing this too. I'm not, I don't know if they do it be, for the same reason as me. Maybe they do it just because they like to do it. But me, I do it to keep me in the game, to keep me focused on the game rather than anything else. I'm just going around. I might as well loot this while I'm while I'm here. But I, I, I decided to head back because I don't think anyone's I don't think anyone's just gonna pop their head out over there, and I don't want to be searching forever outside of the circle. It's not a good idea. I'd hate to get into a fight outside of the circle. So I'm just running around here. I'm going to head to Dusty Depot now because I know there's a lot of pallets there where I can get a lot of wood. My wood is not as high as I would like it to be. I only have almost 200. I usually like to have around 300 plus at least of wood so that if I get into a fight, I can be prepared to, for anything. If, if I'm playing the squads or duos, it's probably more. But when it's just one person shooting at you, don't need that much. So I'm going to just gather here gather some wood see I got a ton of wood right there 50 wood right there easy money uh, I mean 150 sir and um, yeah so there's more pallets over here I got a chest too and um, yeah we're just gathering I'm hoping to f find someone it's a fight quickly and um, there we go I found someone uh, he's hiding behind this tree over here but little did I know he was already praying on someone else. He's praying on this guy. Now, I didn't know that guy was even there. He could have shot at me this whole time. I had no idea. But whatever. I decided to take this guy out because he didn't know I was here. He had a lot of shield but no HP. So that's cool. So I'm going to quickly gather all this stuff as fast as I can. But I'm trying not to stay in one spot for too long because I know how this game is. I know that people heard those gunshots and they're on their way over here. Or they might be, you know. I don't fuck with the boogie bombs. I don't really fuck with grenades, so I just left the boogie bomb there. I don't really care about it. I'm trying to pick up all his materials as well. He didn't have much, but... Oh, yeah, a lot of wood, but... You know, he didn't have much brick. So, I could have gotten an extra kill there if I'd have known that guy was there easily, but I didn't, so it's whatever. Now, I'm, I'm going to find try to find more people. I got a scar out of the situation. That's really good. A scar is a very good weapon to have because it has a lot of accuracy so i'm just trying to stay in the game trying to find people to fight i don't see anyone over here and uh that's an open field right there and uh, i don't like to run through that field i could do it but i don't like to just because there's a lot of different directions you can get shot from and it's a lot it's a lot easier for people to see you so i decided to go this way instead um because there's a there's a, a it's a smaller field you know it's less people shooting at you and shit like that so I decided to go around the mountain this way but it doesn't matter I could have gone that way if I wanted to but I just don't like to get surprised I like to be the one to surprise people but eh, it's whatever so I'm going around this way and I noticed someone building a big giant thing ramp up here never do this never do this I shoot this down and the guy falls to his death never do this guys that technically i would count that as a kill but it's not a kill but i killed that guy so yeah but ne ne never ever ever build up like that i don't know why people do that unless you're like outside the circle and the poison is coming on you and you need to use a jump pad to fly away or something never do that guys it's just so pointless you're just asking to be killed i guess i don't know if that guy was trying to commit suicide or what but whatever he's dead now so i'm going over here uh, I'm going to check the field now to see if anyone's run past. I wasn't going to walk into it. I just want to see if anyone's run past it. I pick up some wood here. See if anyone's over there. And then I hear shots from very far away. So I know there's someone out here. So this is where we get into the fights where um, 
where building is very crucial. So I see someone here. I'm crawling on them, and uh, this is what happens when I know when I when I know where someone is. They don't know where I am. I try to get a few free shots on them. I try to keep the pressure on them so they know I'm serious and they keep building. Now I build. The problem is I just got sniped by someone who had nothing to do with the situation. He only did uh, a, a little bit of my shield, but he still sniped the shit out of me. So I build up, um, pop a mini shield, cause why not? 13 shields, 13 shield, reload, and now I'm assessing the situation. I just noticed one guy shot that guy down right there. So I know there's a guy behind that tree I know there's a guy in this fort in front of me, and I know there's a sniper back there. This guy's changed his target to me since he killed that guy. I'm building up. All you have to do is just keep spam building. Don't be afraid. I shoot down the correct wall so he falls. Takes damage, a little bit of damage because he was kind of high up, but not a lot. Uh, I hit him in the head with a pump right there. That was good. Uh, I build up again, and now this is where I kind of make a mistake. I should have walled him off right there. He could kill me right now. If he landed his shots, I would be dead. But I walled off to defend myself, walled myself up completely. I just turtled up. This is this is fine to do, but not always. But I just turtled up. I can hear him. I can hear what he's doing. He's turtling up too. He's not aggressing me. So I go ahead and make hit myself up. And I'm going to get ready to edit my walls after I get done reloading my shotgun. He has the double pump, which is terrifying. Uh, I, I was going to edit this and go out this way, but I messed up the edit there. So that's... Once again, I'm still still kind of trash. I edit up here, and now he's shooting the roof. So I'm trying to get a pump shot off on him, but it's really bad for me at this point because he has the advantage. But lucky for me, that guy sniped him. The guy who was sniping me before sniped the shit out of that guy. So that guy is out of the out of the situation now. And the only thing that's left is that sniper that was behind the wall. Now, I know that sniper was right over there because he got that easy shot from behind. So, he must be under my fort. And I can hear him as well. Remember, you got to be able to hear people. So, I know he's under my fort. I'm um, just trying to figure out what I'm going to do to get this guy. I'm making sure no one's behind me. That's what you should always do as well. So, I build up above him. So, he's kind of stuck under there. Um, and then I ease out and shoot. Now, I could have died right there. If that pump would have hit me any more than, like, if that pump would have hit me in the head, I would be dead. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have taken that risk. I should have just pumped him instead of our ar him. But it's okay. I came out on top at the end of the day. So I'm going to build up and uh, kill myself up right now with a, with a fireplace. Just in case someone else is coming. Because, like I said before, whenever you have a lot of gunfights, usually people hear that. They're on their way to come, you know, be a part of it because everyone wants to fight, you know. No one wants to, well, not everyone, but a lot of people want to fight. No one wants to sit around. But the game is getting smaller now, so I have to pay more attention to what's going on. I'm making sure there's no one on top of this mountain because this is a place where I could get fucked at. I don't want to use materials if I don't have to. So, no one's up there. I'm going down here, grabbing all his stuff. Make sure I get this sniper, this grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are really good. Sometimes I think they're even better than rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are good at applying pressure to people and scaring them from a far distance. But, but um, grenade launchers are just good at close range, just destroying people. Like it, They really do work, and I'll show you that later in this clip. I messed up my build here, but it's all good. Going up to the top of this mountain and i'm gonna try to build a fort and assess my situation before i move forward i always build or try to build my base with metal so that way if they try to shoot down my base uh it'll be a lot harder for them to do it then i build the rest with brick now the reason why i'm playing so passive here is because i have 80 health and no shield that's really the reason why if i had anything more than that i probably would be out pushing but i want to be able to play a little passively here so i can see what's going on um, I'm fixing my keybinds, making sure all my weapons are reloaded. And now I'm going to prepare to try to see if I can scope out some targets to snipe since I have a sniper now. Uh, but I don't see anyone here at all. I'm trying to peek without someone sniping me. It's very easy for someone to see where I am because I have this big fort. But I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just trying to see if I can find something. But I just don't see anything at all. I don't see any movement whatsoever. And uh, I'm just going to, at this point, I'm just going to wait and see where the circle goes um, once, it, once it gets done moving in on the current circle. So at this time, I'm just scouring the area, making sure there's no one coming up on me. I'm listening, make sure there's no one building anywhere nearby me and just trying to figure out if I can find people. And 
and of course I see nothing. Just waiting for the circle to close in. It's 20 seconds. It's only a little bit of time. I wouldn't want to move from this spot if the circle's on me, you know? So I'm just going to make sure the circle's not on me. And it is not on me. So the circle's not on me. So now I have to make a decision. I have to heal myself up. I'm gonna I know this is gonna be the last push basically. So I wanna heal myself up first to max. I might as well, right? There's no point dying with the fireplace. So I heal myself up. This little HP I have, and I'm just gonna get ready to go now. The thing is when the circle is moving and the and the time limit is where it is, I don't like to move at this time because a lot of people don't move at this time. A lot of people just sit and wait. For other people to move so they can shoot them so i don't want that to happen to me so i usually wait until the timer is at about 30 seconds left that's when i'll move so for now i'm just scoping out the area making sure no one's moving uh you know some people could be moving there's only a few people left in the game so this it's probably is probably uh i probably could have just gone earlier but i just want to play it safe you know uh, hey playing it safe doesn't hurt by the way, while we're on this downtime, you guys can check me out on Twitch, LOL Hero Twitch. I struck stream Fortnite for you guys if you guys want to watch me play this game. But yeah, if you want to watch me play live, ask any questions, feel free to stop by. So it's getting close to 30 seconds, so I'm getting ready to prepare the direction that I'm going to go to get out of here. Uh, I want to go as safely as possible, so I'm going to go behind my fort here. I'm going to go down here around my fort and I'm going to go through these trees and I'm going to go down this mountain. Now, if someone was in front of me here, I'd be in trouble, but luckily no one is. So I'm climbing down this mountain. And I'm going to go for that supply drop right there. The supply drops are very important, especially when you're out of shields. They can drop shields for you. They can drop med kits. They can drop uh, legendary weapons. You know, supply drops are very important. So I'm going to go grab the supply drop. I'm searching my area. I don't think there's anyone here. They would have moved by now, I feel, to get this supply drop. Because, you know. So I picked this up, this grenade launcher up. I got two shields. Very, very lucky. And a golden grenade launcher with some rockets. Not too bad, not too shabby. Um, so I'm running around here to see where the fuck everybody is. I'm trying to get into the circle right now to build a base. And then I see that there's people fighting. I try to take that snipe. I missed the shot, fortunately. Um, I have no idea what's going on over there because I can't see over the hill. So before I even engage, I want to make sure that I'm shielded up. Once again, I'm doing it in the open. I could get shot right now, but I don't think there's anyone on this side of the map. So I think I'm pretty safe. So I shield up and I'm ready to go fight these guys over here. Now, before I do that, I notice someone running on my right. Uh, he shoots at me. I shoot at him. We both miss. And then he just kind of walks over here. This guy is playing really badly, but... Um, I almost got him, but as soon as he got around that tree, he got killed by someone. So I see the guy leaving the tree now. So that guy leaving the tree, he's doing exactly what I was just doing, shielding in the open. And that's where he made his mistake. He's out of the game now. That could have easily happened to me. So yeah, I'm going to stop doing that. Okay, so now I'm going over here to see where these guys are. And it doesn't look like there's anyone left over here. Um, from that fight or the winner of that fight has left so it's just me and him in a 1v1 right now so i'm going over here because i don't want this guy to come over here and pick up these shields even though i can't use them i don't want him to get them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break down this tree i'm going to build a fort around all this shit as soon as i break down the tree and start building he shoots at me so i'm building up i, I don't know what direction it came from exactly could have been south or southwest but i just saw his fort is south i hear the grenade launchers i build a roof just in case uh the, he, the he, he's not anywhere near enough to hit me with the grenade launchers i see him spamming my fort so i just keep building just keep building guys you don't have to panic just keep building uh, i build i build a door out the back and i built right here and i know he's still shooting my fort so i try to go up for a snipe problem is i had to reload from the last shot if i didn't have to reload right there i would have had an easy free snipe on the guy but he saw me coming up so he stopped shooting uh, he tries to snipe i try to snipe him it's just a sniper battle at this point um, but lucky for me and unlucky for him he has to move 
so because the circle's on me so he's moving right now i'm trying to apply pressure to him i'm not really necessarily trying to hit him i'm just trying to apply pressure you always want to apply pressure to people so they know that it's not a game like you can't just be walking so here i try to build a higher fort and this is where he makes a mistake he starts shooting me that was his chance to get in the circle but he starts shooting me i don't know why he did that so i continue to build my base and uh now i hear him spamming grenade launchers at this point and when he's spamming grenade launchers i'm like all right fine i'll spam grenade launchers too you know we could both spam grenade launchers that's how you want to play it and i just keep spamming these grenade launchers until there's literally nothing he can do and then that's it game over i uh, wouldn't have i would have preferred to not spam grenade launchers but he was doing it first and uh yeah so i just did it i would have stuck away from the grenade launchers to to win the game i would have rather just had a straight up ar or sniper or shotgun 1v1 that would have been a lot more fun but whatever i got the win uh if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments i'll make more it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace